Okay, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be learning the stall backflip. It's an easy trick, so today's video is going to be a short one. Okay, so first thing to do the stall backflip, you're going to want to have an easy backflip. You can learn this either on the ground or on trampoline, it doesn't really matter. But if you're doing it on ground, you want to have a backflip that you can do tucked and a backflip that you can do kind of untucked as well. So there's two main types of stall backflips. There's the one where you kind of Jesus it, you do like the Christ backflip, you're kind of in this position. And then there's the other one which is really popular on Instagram right now and that's that pencil one. The Solomon one, the one where you do in a cool location, you get a million views on Instagram. I'm gonna touch on both of those because there's a couple little tips that help with each of them. So the first one, which is the easiest, is the Jesus, the Christ one, the one where you're like this. Uh, my biggest tip for this is to do a really high backflip. When you're lifting up for your set, I mean, when you're trying to do a high backflip anyway, you're gonna wanna lift up and really stall out that set. But the key thing that makes this like a Christ backflip is pointing your toes towards the ground. Because think about it, when you're doing a high backflip, you're ripping your chest up, your arms are up here, you're trying to delay that first set on the backflip. That's going to give you the time to go further up into the air. But with the stalled backflip, you want to point your toes towards the ground, and you're going to be in this position as normal with your high set backflip. But if you point your toes towards the ground, you're going to hit that shape for longer. It's going to mean that your legs can't really come up, and you're going to be stuck in this position. It really helps for this trick to really try stretch your whole body out. You want to take off and lift everything up as high as possible, but at the same time, try keep your feet on the ground. Like they're going to be off the ground, but you got to be pointing them down really hard. And then you'll get to a certain point, you'll realize, okay, I'm, a, I'm going to need to flip this. I'm going to land in my neck. You bring your legs in, you land the backflip. That one for me was definitely the easiest one to learn. And I think it's because when I started doing backflips on the ground, I would do them from standing a lot of the time. And I would always try to see how high I could go. You know, the biggest thing for getting high backflips on the ground is all in that set. So I kind of developed a big back, big like shoulders for really ripping it up. And then uh, to style it out with the pointed toes, it's easy. Now the second one I'm going to touch on is that straight penciled one. This is one that I had trouble with for a long time. And I think it's because I was so used to this, this sort of shape where you point your toes to the ground. So here's an example of my first time properly trying this trick and this was the day that it started to click for me and the key thing involved was the arm placement. Before I'd been trying to do this stall in a similar way to how I would do the other one, uh, I would kind of have my arms out here but I would always be really arch. Like I'd heard from other people that taking off and looking at your toes helps your toes not be pointing down to the ground but be out in front of you but at the same time I would always be arch and I realize now it's because my arms were out here. So one thing you gotta do, and this this I think will actually help a lot of you guys, one thing you gotta do is have your arms kind of here. That's the way Solomon does it, you can see it in a lot of his clips, but his arms are always here. And what that does, that helps you keep that horizontal position, because if your arms are down here, your back's gonna have an arch to it. Your shoulders are kind of already pointing towards the ground, but with your arms here, you're much more of a horizontal pencil shape. Hit that shape, and then you take it over like a normal backflip. And you know, this is just a trick that I learned recently, the, the pencil one, so what I thought I would do, I reached out to a bunch of people that are really good at it, and uh, they, they sent me some videos of their top tips on the stall backflip, so here they are right now. Before I say anything, why did the stall get so popular all of a sudden? Like, it's always been around. I'm gonna share with you the best tip for standing stalls. You gotta be super explosive. You gotta stand up as fast as you can. You're, you're variating a backflip, so you have to essentially over-rotate the backflip. But instead of over-rotating, over you're stalling that shit. Explode up high, and I, I look at my toes, and um, you know, once I'm at a good, at a point where I know I have to bring my legs down, they just fall up, so. Let's uh, do it. Hello. It's your friendly local Aspen tree here to give you some tips on stall backflip. The most valuable tip that I have for stall backflip is using the set to hold that shape in the horizontal part of the stall. What you want to do is pretend like you're holding your set throughout the entire flip, which your set should be straight up like this. Your arm should be extended, you should be extending all the way through your toes. And basically, doing that will already have all your muscles engaged and holding that set and then putting your arms somewhere where you feel comfortable. Have your arms down somewhere where you can easily grab for a tuck. And that's the main tip I have for you. 
Uh, make sure to go like, comment, subscribe, share this video because Plan Zero is the bomb and you already know it. And that's why you're watching this video. So keep on killing it. You want to know how to do better stalls. So there's a couple key components. So if you're going to do a stall out of a round off or a hamstring or anything like that, the main important thing is the block on the trick before. So the round off, you have to block really hard with your arms. So make your round off as long as possible and then snap really hard down and keep your shoulders up. Don't fall with your shoulders back. Keep your shoulders up and rise with it. So low round off, snap really hard, snap your legs down and rise up with your shoulders. Same thing with a handspring if you're gonna do it like that. Make the handspring super fast, snap and rise up with your shoulders. So when I first saw the move, everyone was calling it Jesus backflip because they're in this Jesus position, you know, like Jesus Christ. So as you set, you look down your chest, keep your legs straight, you look just like Jesus. It'll look something like this. Jesus backflip. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Top tips to take away. If you're doing the Christ backflip, point your toes towards the ground, lift your chest up, arms up, kind of to the side, stall at the backflip with your toes pointing down. If you're doing the pencil one, I, I don't know the name for that trick, but the pencil one, then you gotta lift it up, let your legs come up kind of straight, point your toes, look at your toes, and try have your arms here at the side as opposed to down there. That's pretty much it. So if you like this tutorial, hit the like button. Hopefully it was useful. Leave me a comment if this helped you guys out. And also let me know what tutorial you want me to touch on next. If you're new here, click subscribe. I don't always make tutorials. Uh, check back on Wednesday for another sneaky flips in public. Should be a good one. All right, peace. Thanks for watching.